Okay, so with this part, we're now going to talk about the bridge hand, the grip, uh, and the cue action, which after the stance, now to this is the most important part, because once you go away and work on the way you stand, then now the cue action and the way you hold the cue is the most important. important. So we just do the stance, which we already did, then we do the cue action, the bridge, and the grip, that's four things today. Now we've got the stance right, okay? The first thing is about the, the, the hand, where we put the hand. Now I noticed that most players in this room put the hand too far back from the cue ball. I noticed this just. Uh, everyone I went to, they had too much cue from the hand to the cue ball. You see? They had too much cue hanging over. And the problem with this is it, when people miss the ball, miss ball, sometimes it's because they have too much cue here. And then they go either like this or like this. This is what we call cueing across the ball. So it's important to get the hand not too close, but not too far away. So firstly, we will look at that. Then secondly, we look at the way you hold the cue at the back. And when, when I was going around looking at everybody, I can see that a lot of people ask me questions about how to hold the cue and how to hit the ball with a lot of power. So we will also look at the way with the back of the hand, with the cue. You see, when, when we pull the cue back, you have to take your fingers off the cue. So effectively, it's like this. Because if you don't take your fingers off, you come back to here and you stop. You see, I've got all my fingers on the cue here. If I don't take them off, once I come to just here, so I start here. Once I go here, I can't, I can't go no further. I have to do, take off. And when you take your fingers off, it means that the cue can still come back in a straight line. Because if you don't take it off, it comes back and it stops, or you have to go up. Otherwise, you can't get the cue back. So, firstly, the first place, so the stance, we walk in, we get the stance right, okay? And we walk into the shot, and the starting position is the, the arm is at a right angle. So the starting position is there. See, so the arm is straight. That's, that's, that's where you address the cue ball. That's where you start. So here, start. It's straight. Yeah? Not, not here. See now, if I start there, it's too far in. If I start here, too far back. It has to be there. So we walk in and we start there and what I do is I look at the cue ball, look at the object ball and I pick the line of the shot before I even do any feathers. So I walk in, choose the line there and then start the feathers. Not, not, not like this. See, you see, some, some players, they go in straight away. Because without, without the feathers, you can still pot the ball. So, you see? And there's a very good practice routine that we do to show that you do this. Okay, so we walk in. 
There, hold the cue. Now I know that that's the line. Then I start the feathers. And a good way to prove this is when I get down on the cue, I will close my eyes. So we go here, close. So I pot the ball with my eyes closed. It means that I found the line on the way down. We choose the potting angle and on the way down to the shot. So we get in first. Once we're here, there, then we start the feathers. But when I start the feathers, I already chose the line. Yeah? Does anybody have any questions about that? You see, you see, you see what he did? You see what he did? When he got down, he was queuing before. This, this is something that, that, uh, that, I, I, that I've done before, that I've told players to do before. And You have to start in the starting position. The starting position is there. Starting position is you hold the tip on the cue ball. So you start here. There. You find the line first. Now even if I don't cue up, I know that that's the line. My body is in position. You can put the cue down, pick it back up, and I'm still in the same position. I did, this, I did this practice routine with some of the snooker players before, some of the top snooker players. So to prove that when you choose the line, I close my eyes first. So there, close. When you get down, you close your eyes, and I know before I do the feathers. We call these the feathers. I know before. So what I mean is, when on the way down to the shot, you already choose the potting line. When you walk down, there you choose. So I don't even have to do the feathers. What, the, what these do is make the distance control of the cue ball. The reason you do the feathers is to get the, the, the speed control to here. Yeah? So there. That's, that just gives you the speed control. It depends, but for ex some players do different amounts of feathers on different shots. Some players do the same. For example, Mark Salby, he does the same every shot. If, he, if he's potting this, he does the same. Or if he has a, the tough ball, he does the same all the time. But Ronnie O'Sullivan, he does different each time. Yeah, they, 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 they do the same. But say Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ali Carter, they do different amounts each time. So for example on this shot, maybe they do there. But on this one, maybe less. So when you, you address here, it's like hold on the ball, Three, pause, strike. But what I mean is, there's not a normal one. There's not, there's not one that is normal to everybody because everybody does the cue action differently. 
but for me, the way I do it is pause on the ball here. And then strike. But the most important thing is people think that the, 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 this is what finds the line of the shot. It's not. You pick the line of the shot on the way down. You, you stand as you walk in. You pick the line now. There. That's the line. I already know that I'll pot the ball. I don't have to queue up there. I can strike. So you find the line on the way down. On the way down to the shot, you pick the line. And what, what, proves, what proves that I pick the line on the way down is as soon as my chin touches the cue, I close my eyes. This proves that I already chose the line first. So you look at the cue ball first, and then eyes up to the, ob then eyes up to the object ball. But you have to start with the, the tip on the cue ball in the starting position. So here, you start there. Then the feathers, pause, strike. By closing the eyes, it, it just proves that you don't walk in, and then when you're queuing up, you're, you're, you're moving, like there or there. You have to have already chose the line on the way down. So choose there, then, then the feathers. You don't, change, you don't change the line of the shot while you're, while you're down. If you do that, then you have to get back up and start again. So, we're just going to get one up at a time to try, like we did before. We're going to get each person up. We're just going to try, yeah. Um, so, we get the, the first, do you want to come up to try? So, now he has to remember the stance first, then the bridge hand, not too far away, not too, not too close. You see, this is, this is the, per the, wait, 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 there. You see, this is the perfect example is see, see the gap, see, see this, the gap between his hand is too much, his hand needs to be there. Okay, so now, now his hand placement is perfect, his stance, now his hand at the back, when you come, when it's here, it's like that. And on the way down, he chooses the line. On the way down, he picks the line, and then hold, hold, hold his cue to the line. So he walks down, hold there, then feather. There. He held it on the line, and then pull back. With him, with him the cue action needs to be a little bit faster. So you walk in, there, hold on the cue ball, then the feathers, just it, the cue action, it needs to, needs to be a little bit faster, he's not really queuing up, he's, he's not queuing up fast enough, you see here, it's got it, when you, when you get down, you get down, it's got to be like this, pause, pause, strike. Yeah, yeah, you need to explain to them that when they get down, they hold the tip onto the cue ball first. So here, they hold. And this is when he chooses the line, he picks the line. Then, the feathers. Then pause. Yeah, so he does that, like, three, three feathers. Pause onto the cue ball, come back, pause and strike. So if he if he just watches me first. So here, hold. St strike. So
So it has to pick the line of the ball. It has to choose, choose the line on the way down and hold the tip. Better, that's better, but it, it has to, remember at the back of here, it has to take the, take the, take the fingers off. There, hold, pause, strike, yeah? It's, and, and then from, 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 from the back bit, here, it has, to, it has to stop and then accelerate. But on the way down, it has to choose the line. And the hand, you see, the hand has to be a little closer, there. There. That's better. I think with him, his hand was too far back. He has to make sure he gets his hand closer to the, to the ball. This, this, is, this part is very important that you get this right. Okay? Okay. Yeah, the, the next one. You see? Wait, wait. You see? When he got down, when he got down, he went like this first. You have to get down and hold on to the cue ball. So, so you see here, they walk in, start there, then, yeah. See, and, and you see the arrows of the cue stay dead straight, which means he pulled it back straight and pushed it through straight. And you see, when you get down, you hold here, hold. When you hold the tip on the, on the ball, on the cue ball, that is choosing the line. That's picking the line of the shot. See, it's good. That's perfect. He, when he hold the tip on the white, he's choosing the line of the shot. When you go like this, you hold. When you do this, you're choosing the line. If for some reason you don't like it, then you have to start again. You can't change when you're down on the shot. Does he have any questions about that? Does he have any questions? Yes, but that time he didn't, because you see the arrows, they stayed dead straight. If he twists his wrist, then you can see with the arrows. That time, but I think I think he missed the ball because he was he was watching the arrows. Just you have to pick the line. You have to do the same routine. So you here, walk in, hold, feathers, pause, strike. Yeah, it's better. See. He, he said much better. <laughs> See? He said very good. That's perfect like that. If he, if he does that, every shot. But you see, it's a lot to remember because you have to remember the stance, walking in, hold the tip to the cue ball, then do the feathers, pause, then strike. So I'd, uh, maybe you can just tell him as I say it each time. So you walk in, hold. You want to tell him there till you hold. Then the feathers, pause, strike. But if he does how we just did every time, 